Do you want to share with me at some point what the heck is going on? No. So it's for otters. Otters. otters? No. You've never, this is the okay. first time I'm hearing otters. Anything I should really design for them. Anything they can play with and, yeah. you know, run up and down, make it otter proof. I'll tell you, I see a couple obstacles. It's like During a maze of poles. There's a there, roof, there is a roof on this. Right. I don't know how we're going to get in here and maneuver the machine around. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape and we have a super important build. I think it's important. I'm not sure if it's that important. Greg says it's important. Ed says it's important. I know it's winter retreat. I also know winter retreat is in Florida at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. And that's all I know. I know there's a bunch of contractors coming, CACs to be specific, certified aquascape contractors. And I think it'd be a good time to meet with Ed and just figure out what the heck are we doing? Let's go. Yo. I don't even know why I would knock, right? That no, might have been the first knocks. time I've knocked ever. <laughs> ever. Pretty much ever. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, this is Watch so... Watch my plants. What is this? Plants? Is that Chinese food? Is that <laughs> the largest <laughs> bag of Chinese food ever? <laughs> We're leaving in a day or two yes. down to Florida. This is the first time we <laughs> are talking about what we are doing. Uh, did you want to share with me at some point what the heck is going on? Well, it's such an easy pond. Like you can do it literally blindfolded. It's a 10 by, <laughs> it's a 10 by 20 pond. 10, 10 by 20 pond. It's got an intake bay on one end. Okay. Because the otters, so it's for otters, Otters. otters? No. You've never, this is the okay. first time I'm hearing otters. So no fish, because the otters will eat the fish. <laughs> Blindfolded build with otters. This is going to be fun. Otters can be a little feisty. They can be very right? feisty. A little ornery. They are, like, yes. You could be an otter. <laughs> Playful yet feisty. <laughs> These are native species that were rescued, so they wanted to stick everything native. So we have native aquatic plants coming, and oh, cool. there's going to be native plants around on the berm. How many days? Day and a half. Well, that, not including the prep. <laughs> so, technically <laughs> we have three days because we could do prep, we can dig it, we can line it, move the rocks, build the berm. So, blindfolded, <laughs> otters, and do it in a day and a half. High five! You know yeah. what? We'll see you in Florida. <laughs> Is it together? No. I'm doing a bear pond. <laughs> <laughs> So there's two oh, projects. I'll, I'll learn to do a bear pond. There's, well, I've done otter ponds before. So you've never done an otter pond. I've never done a bear pond. Well, but you have to do the otter first, oh, and then you. When the student. When the you. student was ready. <laughs> All there. right, I got some homework to do. So maybe next year. Oh, thanks, buddy. All there. right, <laughs> I'll see ya. Ask again. <laughs> All right, we got a few hours before we close up shop here. I think the best use of my time would be to take advantage of looking over some old footage that I remember seeing of Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch where Ed did that otter window. Not just the window, but all of the other stuff that went into that otter enclosure. I'm gonna get inspired, you guys should come with me. Getting ready to do the prep work for Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, which I am totally, totally excited about because this is gonna be an unbelievable project. Otters are one of my favorite animals. Always just curious, looking around, searching, very, very playful. And because of that, you need to engage them with as many sensory things as possible. So you have to have lots of play for these animals. So when you engage them the way they are actually designed, if you have hiding areas, if you have different enrichment areas where they can actually go and search and problem solve and interact and play, climb and swim and hunt for food, if all these different things come together as one, then you're gonna have that right enclosure. So I knew I'd get a ton of inspiration. Basically what I took from what everything Ed was saying, otters have severe ADD. So if I could build a pond that Greg, the pond guy would enjoy, then the otters will enjoy it too. Make sure they're just busy, busy, busy. So let's give them waterfalls, let's give them streams, let's give them rocks to jump off of them. Let's give rocks that they can dive underneath. Uh, we're basically gonna build a jungle gym for otters. Here we go, this is gonna be so much fun. And just like that, we're out here in Florida at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. We've got incredible weather. I can't believe like I'm actually getting a sweat out here. The sun is out, there's a little breeze. It's like perfect working conditions. We're gonna build a pond for otters. We're gonna build a pond for bears And I still don't know exactly what we're doing. So let's go find Ed and we'll have fun Super B 
Hey, what's up? So this is the otter enclosure? <laughs> this is the otter enclosure. This is my competition. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. This is what I've got to this is what I've got to outperform. And so they've got these two tubs. Is there a reason they're so big? So according to regulations, they otters need three feet of water. All right. So they have to have a certain square footage as well as depth. So what we're doing is getting rid of both of these coming in with an ecosystem style pond, but we still have to have a deep hole for them to go down, even though, which is kind of interesting, you know, like otters are more, they usually play around in that in the shallow, shallow water area. Yeah. So Ed, I'll have to tell you, I see a couple obstacles. Um, yep. One, taking, this is not going to be a very big pond. No. Right? So getting a small pond three feet deep. Yep. Um, we're going to need the right rock yep. to do that. Yep. Uh, we're not going to be stacking a bunch of right. eight inch cobbles and stuff on top of there. Did you see these poles when <laughs> you designed this pond? I, like, I, I actually like, did see the poles. It's like a maze of poles. So <laughs> did you see that there's a roof, there is a roof on this? I don't know how we're going to get in here and maneuver the machine around. So this is, this is why you gave me the outer pond. <laughs> so can't get crazy creative with the design because of the limitation of all the support structures for the exhibit here. So we're gonna do roughly a 12 by 20 foot pond, waterfall right off the edge. Our biggest obstacle, like I said earlier, is gonna be getting that depth in such a small space. When you only have 10 or 12 feet wide to deal with and trying to go three feet deep, you gotta be really considerate about the size of the boulders you're using because you can shrink down that deep space really, really quick. So I want to go take a look at some of the rocks, some of the different materials that we have, what we can get creative with. I heard there's like a junkyard back behind here and we have free access to anything I can find in the junkyard. So let's go check that out. And then uh, we'll leave Jack here to do the fun work. Like, look at him. He's so in his element. Jack, you're like our little otter. Like, look at you. I just saw him swimming too. Yeah, we'll bring stuff back and we'll see how he interacts with some of the junkyard stuff. <laughs> So this is the junkyard. One person's junk is another person's treasure. That's what it is. And to me, I look at this way more like treasure. So Ed said there was a pile of plumbing. I need this stuff. Uh, we've got to run some conduit for the electric. We've got to do some drains out of the backside of the biofalls. He said I could use any of this stuff here. So we're going to be definitely diving into this. Our stone back over here. It's actually really nice stuff. And you can tell it's been aged. So the patina on it is perfect. We got all kinds of mosses and lichens. The other thing I saw were these logs over here. And really we're trying to build, remember that jungle gym for otters. So we're really gonna try to make it interactive. Now these aren't ideal because they've all been cut. And so we don't wanna see those cut ends, but maybe I can do something where I kind of overlap one or do another one, uh, hide the cut ends with some boulders. I think these would be fun to work with and they're a little lighter and easier for us to move. So I could do a whole edge with those. I also saw this wall stone back over here. Normally you wouldn't want to put wall stone into a natural exhibit, but I've got to get three feet deep and I got to get three feet deep quick. So I can put this stuff in where nobody's going to see it. Maybe cap it with some rock. The idea is that, like hide it as much as possible, but use it for its purpose just to get that three foot deep section really, really fast. So I'm definitely going to tie into that. Now this is definitely my jewel. I also know that Ed wants to use this for his exhibit. So I think it's going to be a battle for who can get to it first. And I might have those guys come over here, strap this guy up and get it into our exhibit really fast. But how cool would it be to see those otters climb on this climb up on here we might have to like manipulate some of these branches a little bit but like there's already air plants growing all over it like this thing is so awesome this screams outer exhibit Hey everybody, this is Amy with the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. Amy, 
Ed told me we have to build a pond for otters. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the otters. Two North American river otters. All right. So we've got Charlie and Tater Tot. All right. They've been with us for a few years now. Uh, Charlie came to us back in 2015. Um, he was orphaned. He has a birth defect for his one eye, never really grew to full capacity right. and is non-visual. So his mom left him behind. And then Tater Tot came to us from another facility. She wasn't getting along with her roommates. And uh -huh. so they asked us if Charlie wanted a friend. And yeah, why not? So Charlie and Tater Tot get along well as now? As long as Charlie does whatever Tater Tot wants, oh, okay. then we're good. Yeah, it's like Ed and I. <laughs> hey, well, right. you know, there are most marriages, right? right. You, know, you know, happy wife, happy life. So tell me this, is there like, I've got all kinds of ideas running in my head. Is there anything I should really design for them? Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> They're going to destroy anything. So like you make know, it so otter proof. Make it otter proof. You know, act like you're building for the bears and then all hopefully right. the otters should be able. But I mean, anything they can play with, if they can slide down logs and stuff, they're right. going to love it. So I saw a big log over there. I want to use that big log. I yes. think it'll be great. So yeah. just give them a lot of interaction areas. Absolutely. You all know, right. if there could be like a little waterfall -y kind of thing, you know, that they can kind of like almost oh, yeah. No, we'll, do, we'll, do a, we'll do a waterfall. We'll definitely get a waterfall in there. If our viewers want to know more about this place, where do they come check you out at? So they can find us at Bush Wildlife, B U S C H wildlife.org uh -huh. or bush wildlife on instagram bush wildlife sanctuary on facebook we've got twitter we've got our own youtube so awesome. any of that they can go check us out and um we'd love to have them follow us and follow the journey of the otters but nothing's better than being here yourself so next time you're on a family <laughs> vacation you make sure you step by the bush wildlife sanctuary because not only are we building a pond for otters ed's building a pond for bears and both of them are going to be awesome and the place is already incredible so make sure you step out here Ryan, what are you doing with that log? Oh, that one that I tagged? Oh, <laughs> so now, <laughs> no, 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 now no. you tag it. <laughs> I was thinking about your exhibit. Oh, I'm thinking bear. of like a 300 pound bear. <laughs> like, there's no business sitting on that thing. You didn't take like, a back scratcher for him. No, 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 that's a perfect like otter. It, like he could crawl Habitat, that's playground. Right. So I clearly won, right? Like yeah, the log is in the outer exhibit. Yeah. And he's witnessing. It. But we both looked at it, we said this wasn't the proper log in their exhibit. They make sense in here. Um, I can already picture the little otters coming over in here. What we're doing now is just kind of fine-tuning some stuff. We're gonna dig this out a little bit more in here so we can get a rock. We gotta sneak it down into here. Uh, you can see where Ed's marked out a little depression right here we're worried about this sharp point right here so we're gonna dig out kind of a bowl in here we can get some more rock pad and that kind of stuff in here and then ultimately what we're both thinking is with this natural high spot on this log right here and how flat this turned out probably get this waterfall just to come right in through here we get a big frame rock over in here and get some movement with that stream it should look pretty cool All right, day two here at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. We got so much stuff done yesterday. Felt really, really good about where we're at. We got a lot of the stuff done with the Otter Pond. I still want to get some major rocks set in there because the tight, tight working conditions back in there, it's just not going to be safe with 50 plus contractors. I think it's actually now 60 some contractors. So we're going to go over there in a little bit, still kind of putts around a little bit and get some stuff done in there. I'm over here at the Bear Pond. We wanted to get this excavated and we wanted to try to get this at the same space that the Otter Pond was 
was at yesterday. Just so tomorrow, when all the CACs and Greg the Pond Guy get out here, we can move really effortlessly through this. We've got a lot to do, but we're still in Florida and this place is awesome. Kind of a crazy day. It's the end of the day, which is nice because when it's a crazy day, you want there to be an ending. But crazy in the fact that it took us a lot more time than we thought over on the bear exhibit. So nice to have Tony out here and his guys at Pondscape. Uh, you know, when we do these travel projects, we need tools. We need shovels. We need laser levels, extra liner, all that kind of stuff. And without having an unbelievable certified Aquascape contractor here, things like this just don't get done. So thank you so much, Tony, and the rest of your team. We're back over here at the Otter exhibit. We've placed a few more logs, got a few more rocks set, um, some things buttoned up in the intake base, some plumbing and stuff done. I would actually like to be a whole lot further than we are for tomorrow's class, but it is what it is. So we'll get it done tomorrow because we've never not gotten it done. You guys want to see the reveal. I know, I know, I know, but it was such a big video. We're going to show this in a two-part series. So make sure you join us Sunday at 9 a.m. You guys know what to do. Tell all your friends, tell your neighbors, whoever it might be. Tune in Sunday at 9 a.m. where you get to see the otters actually interact with this unbelievable build. Thanks so much for watching. See you on Sunday. Bye.